So you have created your mind map as big or small as you want to make it and you decided that you want to start writing. Here we are in the iThoughts Mac application. It's really simple to share your mind map out ready for it to be used in the next stage of the Good and Geeky Writers workflow. In the icon bar at the top of the application there is a button called Share and you can go there or you can go to the file menu and you can share from there if you wish. Whichever way you do it, you'll get to this drop down menu and you have a number of choices to share out your mind map. The choices that we are interested in are the Markdown Share and the Mind Map Share. The best one to use is the Mind Map Share and to choose the third party desktop mind map format of OPML. We want to use this one because it's the default format to use with your outlining application. It's also very good for bringing your work into Scrivener. You can get a preview of your exported file by using the preview button. This immediately opens up the OPML in the default application for working with this type of file. In my case, I've chosen to use the application Cloud Outliner for this part of the process. If the application Cloud Outliner is not open at the time, it will be opened and it may be necessary for you to click on the preview button in iThoughts X a second time for it to appear in your list of outlines. If you are using iCloud for your storage, you will see that the outline you have created already in the mind map application has been saved into Cloud Outliner. If you prefer the file to be saved to a folder on your hard drive, then you should go back to the dialog box and to click on the save button. Then you can save it to wherever you need it to go to. I put it all into my folder called text, lovely text. Click on save. The other possibility that we're interested in is to use Markdown to do the export. And for this one, you just leave the settings as they are and click on save. And once again, have it saved into the folder that you prefer to have all your stuff going into. I like to use text, lovely text for all that sort of stuff. And you can put tags in there if you want to. So this one is going to be a good and geeky file and it's about writing. And if you're going to use tags, I suggest it's a really good idea. It helps you find your stuff later. So once you've clicked on saved, you've got your files saved. As you can see, we've got the one we've just saved there, the OPML file and our markdown file. And from there you can go into your next part of your process which is to do some writing which is to do some outlining or is do some writing in Scrivener whatever you fancy there is one other possibility of getting your writing out of the iThoughts X and it is a little bit uh, random about but if you're using an application called Mark 2 it could be quite useful so what happens with Mark 2 is that you have the option to look at the file that you're working on, in this case the OPML file that is part of the iThoughts X and any changes that you make will be immediately shown up in this file here. So what you can do then is to use this little icon at the bottom here to share it out and we're going to choose the MD which is the markdown and again we get the choice to export it out and I'm going to send that to the same folder text lovely text click on save and it's already there so it's going to be replaced we're going to find her again as you can see there's the one that I sent out there and it's the good and geeky tutorial dot md the first one I sent out markdown that went out from the I thought sets application and this one here went out from mark 2 and we've essentially got the same sort of file and in the next videos, we're going to be looking at how we can get those files into our Outliner application or into Scrivener or into Byword if we want to get directly into doing some writing.